Now that the Sony a7R5 has been released, it is time to return the Sony a7 IV and upgrade to the a7R5. Yes and no. Depending on the type of shooter you are, you might want to stick with the a7 IV or upgrade to this a7R5. Also, depending on the type of enthusiast or hobbyist you are, you might want to consider keeping the a7 IV or upgrading to the a7R5. And since I do not have the Sony a7R5, there isn't much I can speak on it when it comes to experience, except for saying there are a number of good videos out there that you can check out after this video where I will be talking about the Sony a7IV. But if you want me to talk more about the a7R5, let me know down in the comments below. The Sony a7 IV has been my workhorse photography camera for six months. With its 33 megapixel APS-C crop mode and high bitrate video modes, I do have to say the upgrade from the a7 III was well worth it, although I would highly recommend the Sony a7 III over the a7 IV when it comes to price. With the right workflow, you can produce similar work to the a7 IV with the a7 III. Not exactly, but close to it. And when it comes to the body design, the a7 IV body is more robust than the a7 III. The grip is grippier. I feel like I have more of a hand when holding it although there's nothing wrong with the a7-3's body you can throw a grip on it and shoot away the button layout is okay sometimes i hit the button that's right next to the record button when i'm trying to record which is annoying but i've gotten so used to recording with the sony fx3 that when using the a7-4 it gets even more annoying and frustrating because i'm literally using two different cameras the fx3 button layout is so convenient that it makes the layout on the a7-4 frustrating for instance, when shooting handheld with the FX3, I use my thumb to press the record button right here. But a quick workaround with the a7 IV is to map the record button to the AF1 button and that issue goes away. I haven't gotten around to doing it yet, but I should. And the question is, will I? When it comes to photography, the layout of A7 IV works fine for me. However, if Sony combined the A7 IV internals with the FX3 externals, that would be the perfect camera for me. High megapixels with phenomenal body layout design, internal fan plus a viewfinder, that would be perfect for me. I'm starting to get into video with the a7 IV. I shot a few videos in the past on for this channel on, with the a7 IV and I have to say I've been impressed with those results. In some cases I prefer it over the FX3 mostly when it comes to the talking head but I will talk more about that in another video. In the meantime check out this video right here on why the Sony a7 IV crop is a great feature of this camera. If you want to see more videos like this hit the like button and let me know you want to see more videos like this but thanks for joining subscribing and staying awesome. Stay awesome.